Welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about Fusion in DaVinci Resolve 18. So right now, I have a timeline created already. If you don't know how to do so, you can just simply right click and you will get an option to create a timeline. But once you have that timeline, all you need to do is simply right click over here and you will get an option of creating a new Fusion composition. So just go ahead and click this. And this will give you an option to set the name of your clip. You can just leave this at default, but I'm going to go ahead and write comp one. And let's just also go ahead and change the duration of our fusion clip. And make sure that you already know the duration that you want this clip to be at, because once you start editing, and then you realize that, oh, you want to change the duration of this clip, then it will be very difficult for you to do so. There will be some errors. And in order to overcome those errors, make sure that you already know the duration of your fusion clip. So I am just setting this at 10. And let's keep the frame rate at 24 and hit create. There you can see I have this comp one over here. And now you can just simply double click on this or you can right click and open in fusion page. Let's just double click here. And this will take you to the Fusion tab. And right now, all we have is this media out. What this does is it allows us to display whatever we have in our Fusion clip to our timeline. If you don't know Fusion or you're not familiar with Fusion and this is your first time using it, you will see that this will be moving freely. But in my case, it is moving very smoothly and it is sticking with the grid. You'll see that there are grids over here and I'm moving this and this is moving along with the grid. But in your case, what is happening is it is moving freely. So what I did was if you go ahead and right click, you will see that you get an option of arrange tools. So just go ahead and select two grid and this will allow you to make sure that this sticks to the grid because otherwise it will move freely like this. So let's just go ahead and select two grid. Now you will see that it sticks to the grid as you move it. So let's just move it over here. And now over here, you will see that we have some options. So the first option that we have is background. So let's just drag this over here. And you will see that we have a background option as a node. Let's just select this box and drag this. And you will see that we get this line, this yellow line. And you can simply connect this with the media out. And as you can see, we have our background. That is already showing in the output. So let's just go ahead and change the color. And you can see that if we go back to our timeline, and now if we drag this comp over here, you will see that we get our output over here. So let's head back to comp one. Okay. So now let's just uh, first of all remove this for now. So over here, you can see we have a merge node. You can see there is merge written. And if you simply just drag this over here, and you will see that we have our first merge node. And let's connect this with the media out. And you will see that nothing happened because by default, this is just an empty node. And the function of this merge is to simply allow us to create multiple nodes. So for example, we have this background. Let me just connect this background to this merge node and you will see that we get our background displayed once again. But this time it is using this merge node as an intermediary. Now, the advantage of using this here is that you can now add multiple things to your timeline here. So for example, let's just go ahead and select another merge node. And if you just drag this over here, and if you see that the line over here in the merge section, it turns blue, then just simply leave this and it will connect with the media out. Otherwise, if it not, does not work, all you need to do is just drag this over here and you can connect this with this merge, this merge with this merge, and then connect this merge with the output. So now what this allows you to do is to add new elements to your fusion composition. Over here, I have a text, and you can see that if I write text over here, this gets connected with our output. 
So this is how you can add multiple things to your Fusion clip. And of course, you can add these merge nodes as many as you want. All right, so now let's go ahead and see that how we can edit our text. And you can just simply go ahead, change the font from here. You can change the size from here. So these are simple, basic text effects you can use. And of course, you also have this layout panel over here, this transform, this shading. This will allow you to change the opacity of your text. All right, now let's go ahead and add a mask. So let me show you how masking is done in Fusion. So over here, you will see that we have a panel with this rectangle, an eclipse, and a polygon. So let's just drag this rectangle to our timeline. And you'll see that we get this rectangle over here. And if you drag this to the text, what this will do is this, was, this will allow us to create a mask for the text. So select this, click on this rectangle, and here you will see that, that we have some options. So for example, we have this width. You will see that we are setting the width over here. Also the height as well. And we can also set the corner radius, but no need for that right now. And once you have done that, just go back to your text. And now I will show you how you can animate this or how you can keyframe this by using a mask. And once you have your text selected, just go to the layout and over here, you can see we have options of selecting keyframes, creating keyframes. So let's just, let's just go ahead and select this center right now. And of course, uh, before you do that, all you need to do is just move in over here. This, will, this is basically the timeline for the fusion composition. So let's go ahead at 20. So let's just go ahead at 40 over here. And let's select this center X and Y like this. So we have created a keyframe. Now let's move our timeline back over here. Now we are at the start. And now let's go ahead and change the center. And you will see that this is now masking like this. Okay, so if you play this now by hitting spacebar, we can see we have our animation. And this is using masking as well. But you can see that it is not a very smooth animation. So for that, I will show you how to use the ease in, ease out effect. Make sure you have your text selected. And over here, you will see we have option of spline. So click on this, and this will open up this spline tab. And now select your text, which is this text. And this will show you the keyframing that you did. So we did the keyframing on the displacement. And this shows us a graph of our keyframes. And in order for us to expand on this, all you can do is just click here, this icon over here. This will zoom in to fit. So this will allow you to zoom in where your keyframes are. And of course, you can change this back over like this as well. Now let's select both these clips and simply just hit S on your keyboard. And this will create a simple easing effect. So if we move this back, let's see how this looks. And here you can see we have a very nice and smooth looking animation. Let me just play this once again. Here you can see this looks much better. So this is how you can use ease in, ease out within Fusion. Okay, let's just say that we want to create a, a shape. So all you need to do is just create a new merge like this. And now let's add a background. And for a background, let's add this eclipse as a mask. And let's connect this with the background. And now I'm going to connect the background with the merge. You will see we get our shape. So now we can change the settings from here. And in order for us to make sure that the width and the height of our shape is similarly decreasing and increasing simultaneously, all you need to do is just right click on the width 
4 on the height and select expression. Now you will see that we get this plus sign. And if you simply just click and drag this and move this over to height, this will connect it with height. Now, if you move height, this will also change the width. So this is also how you can use expressions in Fusion. Let's just decrease this. Now let's simply just move this over here like this. Now, of course, we can change the keyframing from here as well, but I want to show you it another option which is this transform option so just simply drag this transform over here connect your background with this and then connect this with the merge node and here you can see that we get option for transform and of course we did not need to do that expression thing over here we can just simply drag this transform and we can change the size like this so that was another option as well but for now let's just Go ahead with what we have and let's just add this over here. So let's set this center over here and at the start, let's just move this out of the screen. Now let's play this. And here you can see our shape is also now animating. And of course, we can ease in this as well but now you will see that we have our text selected as well as our shape so in order for you to avoid messing this up make sure you unselect your text from here and just simply select this transform hit this icon zoom into fit and select your keyframes hit s and of course we can also zoom in by pressing in control on your keyboard and your mouse scroll wheel to move in and out okay so let's just select this one keyframe over here and now you can simply move this and if we now view this we'll see that it gets a different reason you can also do this from here as well so this will allow you to play with how it will ease in and ease out like this right now let's also go ahead and see how we can add effects to our nodes so if you right click over here you will see that we have add tools option we can add different effects from here but a keyboard shortcut is to hit control space on your keyboard and this will open up a panel where you can search for different tools so right now i'm going to search for blur hit enter and we have a blur node added to our composition now i'm going to connect this text with this blur and this blur with this merge and i'm going to move this over here so this is how you can see we can organize our merge nodes so this will help you while you are editing okay so Let's just move here and select our blur. And I'm going to set the keyframe here at 40. And let's go at 60 and change the blur size to 30. Okay, and now let's go back to 80. Sorry, let's go forward to 80 and now let's go back to zero. Now let's see how this looks. So here you can see we added a blur effect and of course there are many more effects in fusion but this is just to show you how we can add effects in fusion all right so one other thing that i want to show you is that how you can add images or videos to this fusion right now i have this uh, image over here and first of all let's go ahead and add a node the merge node now let's drag this image over here and now I'm going to connect this with merge 4, this merge. So here you can see we have our image added to our screen. Now what we can do is we can simply just drag this transform node over here. If it turns blue, just drop this and you will see that it gets connected. Now we can change the size of our image. Move this around.
All right, and now let's go ahead at 100. Go to merge, select this merge, and here you will see that you get an option of blend. So first of all, hit the keyframe over here, go back to 80, and select this as zero. And this will give you an opacity effect for your image, like this. Okay, so this is how you can add a text, how you can add a shape, and how you can add an image to your fusion compositions. And of course, you can add video similarly to how I showed you this image. You can simply just drag in your video and over here, and you can drag and drop it over here. Connect it with the merge and then connect in all of them with this media out. So once you are done with your composition, just go back and you will see that in our timeline, if you simply just hit play, and here you can see we have our composition. So this is how you can create different compositions in DaVinci Resolve and then add them to your timeline. Now, one final thing that I want to show you is that just go back to your fusion composition. And in order for you to save this for later use or to reuse this in the future, just simply select all of these nodes and hit right click over here. And here you will get an option of settings. And then you can hit save as. And this will give you an option to save your composition. All right. So I have already saved this. and. If I go ahead and delete all of these, now let me just go ahead and add that Fusion Composition file that I just saved. So I saved my Fusion Composition clip in this folder and let me just drag this back to my timeline. And here you can see we have the same nodes that we created before. And Right now we have this media out, but let's just delete this for now and connect this with media out. And here you can see that we get our fusion compositions back. So this is how you can also save and save your fusion compositions for later use and then import them so you can make more edits or use reuse them once again. So I hope you liked the video. And let me know your feedback in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.